Okay, let's take a look at a issue with the Windows logging system. So basically everything in this example is taken from one, but when I went and looked at one of the references too, I saw that actually the majority of the background material is just copied verbatim from there. And so that's a Alex Ionescu post about the background for common log file system. So as it says, it's a high performance general purpose logging file system that is allowing multiple clients to log things. And the important thing we have to care about is what is the structure of those sort of log files. So there is a base log file that is made up of multiple records and the records are broken up into sectors and the sectors are written to disk in IO units called log blocks. And so the various log blocks are always read and written in an atomic fashion for consistency, right? Because you don't want to be losing log messages and making it hard to debug something. So specifically, the issue here has to do with the base log file, which has six different types of metadata blocks, of which there are three, and then three shadow copies. And the whole point of these shadow copies is to have a previous record of the metadata so that if there is some sort of failure to write, you can restore information from the known good copy. Now I've added emphasis here because the crux of this particular vulnerability is going to have to do with the interaction between shadows and the non-shadow type. So the three main types, there's the control record that has information about the layout of the log file, the extend area, and the truncate area. There's the truncate record, which has the information about the sectors that change as a result of a truncate operation. So when you make the log smaller, and there's the base record that has symbol tables and information about security contexts. So just to try to help you visualize that, because this upcoming code is going to be pretty complex and confusing because it's all decompiled code, you can think of it as there being a base log file, which has the control record and the shadow, the base log record and the shadow, the truncate record and shadow. So you're going to see six things in a array in these data structures, and those six things correspond to these six things. Then specifically, there is the on disk representation of the control record, and that will be the thing called CLFS control record in the code that you're going to be looking at. So you'll see a struct, and when you see that struct, I want you to think of this record that started out as a chunk of this file. And then also, there's going to be an in memory representation where it basically pulls in and copies data fields that came from disk and it stores the in-memory representation in this C CLFS base file data structure. So when you're seeing that, keep in mind that that is the in-memory -mem representation and it will have been copied from the on-disk representation. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of code here. Like I said, it is uh, a bit complex because it's decompiled, right? And this is Windows, we don't have the source code. But basically, you know, go ahead, take a look at this, spend some time. If you want to get additional background about the CLFS system, you can go to reference two. Don't go to reference one, that explains what the bug is. But if you go to reference two, if you want additional CLFS background, and then, you know, take a look at this. And again, remember, you're hunting for a use after free. So this is, you know, I'll tell you up front, this is a explicitly difficult example, but I do think it still will be possible as long as you pay attention to those hints, you're looking for a use after free and you're looking for something having to do with the interactions between the shadow copies and the normal copies.